Hey guys, it's Wolf Wengler. I thought I'd do something a little bit different on this video. There's a website called yellowbullet.com. Uh, it's a lot of hot rod stuff, um, all various different things, boat stuff, car stuff, gun stuff. Um, but they have a couple of good technical sections. And I had a problem about a year ago with oil pressure, and I thought I would post the problem up and see if anybody had any ideas. And I outlined pretty much what my combination was solid roller um, motors been together for three years oil pressure has been 20 at idle 55 plus above 4,000 it's been like that for three years pumps 65 pounds when it's cold I run mobile 11040 oil and a Wix filter it's got a myelin and pan six quarts plus the filter standard volume GM pump with a heavy spring in it so you can read the post, but I'll give it to you. Basically, it said that the other day I was out in the interstate and I was driving down the road and suddenly the oil pressure was at 20 pounds. And I slowed down and I got off and I checked the oil. Everything looked normal. I got back in the car. I started up. I drive on and uh, the pressure comes back up. I drive around for a while. Pressure's normal. And then a couple of days later, the same thing happens again. So I'm asking if anybody has any ideas and um, there's a lot of interesting people on here who have a lot of technical drag racing experience. Um, Mr. Dragster suggests changing to another gauge. That was good advice. Um, there's another question from Making Chips. Wanted to know how much vacuum I'm running um, down the road. That shouldn't really make any difference. Um, maybe your oil pump bypass is stuck open to the ball not seating. Um, Turbo TA had a good idea and that's what I was thinking too. So I answered a couple of questions and I said, yeah, I'm thinking about that, but how could that happen? How could it repeat itself to the same pressure? Pull the vacuum pump belt off. Um, did you chair it down before I had some other stuff apart? No, everything was fine. And then, uh, Helco here had a good idea. He said, I had the same thing happen to me. Perfect oil pressure and then low, low oil pressure at idle and low RPM after running up the RPMs. Took a look and found one of my cam lobes had started flaking off hardened surface and a piece of that had found its way into the pressure valve on my relief on my oil pump causing it to stick open. It snapped closed when I touched it with a screwdriver. I was lucky to find it before it snapped back open. It would have been hard to find. Here's the base plate off of Helco's oil pump, and you can see where that little piece of metal was lodged right here against the plunger. I've got a picture from Vizard's book you can see here. Um, this gear here goes on this shaft, and then this gear on this shaft is turned around. The shaft goes out there, so the two gears mesh here. And this is the cover plate. Over here is the torpedo. This is what regulates the oil pressure. And one of these springs, there's a high volume and a regular spring shown here. One of these springs goes over the tipped end of the torpedo and then is inserted at this end of the pump so that when the pressure from these gears, and normally the oil would be squirted out this side and up this end of the pump up to the oil filter and then to your main bearings and all. Um, if the pressure is too great here, then it increases this part pressure too because this little port is over this when this is turned around. But remember, this is oil coming from the pan that hasn't been filtered yet. So that little plunger is susceptible to little imperfections and particles of dirt. Um, with this on top of the, the pump with it all locked up, if there's too much pressure going up to the oil filter and to the mains, then there's too much pressure on this port too, and that pushes on the pressure inside here where the torpedo goes, and then it bypasses it, it pushes the torpedo back against the spring, and some of that oil is bypassed back into the pump, so it's just like going around in a circle, and the pressure that's going up to the bearings is regulated. Um, that's the way the oil pump works. So um, I said, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Something stuck in the bypass. I might pull the, fan, the pan off. And um, somebody said put a check valve in it. And I said I thought about pumping air in it to see if it would go the other way. And yeah, we talked about a whole bunch of different things. But 
Vega man here has got it figured out. He says, yeah, you need to drop the pan and see what's in there. And I said, I know, but it's a pain in the ass. And it is a pain in the ass in this car. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, engine builder who's a pro stock racer said, if I was a betting man, I'd say it's in the bypass area of the pump. Um, so that the trend of thought kept going towards the bypass um, end of the pump. And um, I say here, yeah, um, with you on the last thing changed. A fellow before was saying, um, I always think of the last thing changed. Anything goofy with the distributor not sealing off, uh, blah, blah, blah. And I say, yeah, I think of that too, but it's the bypass because I pulled it apart and the torpedo took 100 pounds of air to pop it out. Um, it was stuck in there and there was some marks on it that you can see here. Um, they look like some kind of maybe rubber or something real thin that got on it. Um, but I said I drained the oil through a paint strainer. It was good. So I'm putting a new bottom on the pump and it's going back together. So here's on the side of the car. Just interest. Here's the oil pump pickup. Oil pump's here. But to get the pan off to get to it. The whole K member here looks like this is bolted to the engine, but the motor mount's not attached here. I had to drop the whole K member here um, with the discs attached and everything, but it's only three bolts on each side once you disconnect the steering. So, yeah, it took a couple hours, but I got to the pan, and it's not the first time that's happened. Excel R77 says, Anytime I take the engine apart for anything, as long as it's out, I take the pump apart. I take the bypass valve out and I polish the body of the valve with 2,500 wet and dry sandpaper. After cleaning the valve and the pump bottom plate, if the valve drops in when the plate is turned over, the valve will fall out. Then I feel I can install the spring and the pin. I've had the valve not want to come out without air pressure on it. I don't know why. I've never seen anything on other valves in the cover hole, but the valve didn't want to come out. I would shy away from a new bottom cover. The new shit nowadays is just that shit. What assurance do you have that the new bottom cover isn't worse than the one you have? Blah, 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 blah. But I'm telling him now, no, it wasn't actually a new bottom cover. It was just another bottom cover that I had from another pump. It wasn't new stuff. It was good old stuff. Um, and I took it apart and I, the torpedo on that one fell out good. But that was really good advice um, to take the torpedo out of the oil pump and sand it down real lightly and just make sure that it fits comfortably. I mean, if you're leaking a little bit of oil around the torpedo, it's certainly not going to be much. And that oil pump is bypassing oil most of the time anyway. Glad you found it. Uh, how did the bearings look? Uh, somebody else said, yeah, I uh, had another problem. Same thing with that. So it's just interesting to get a good dialogue going and um, talk to people that are knowledgeable in a certain area. And you got to really know who you're talking to, too, because um, it's still the Internet. Done finishing goodbye. This is normal. And my old friend Nick Engine Builder says, sir, from the looks of the picture, you're speeding and breaking the law. Plus, on top of that, you still too have, have too much oil in the head. He's joking with me. Glad you're back up and running. Thanks, Nick. It's Florida. Anything under 100 is good. How much does the vacuum pump affect the pressure reading? Helco tells they don't. The oil pump system and the engine internals are all in the same atmosphere. Oil pressure result of restriction to flow and mechanical force on that flow. Vacuum in the crankcase has no effect on it. Um, oil pressure is a result of restriction to flow. So if you have a lot of bearing clearances, your oil pressure is going to be less. If you have a high volume pump and you don't have a lot of clearance, all it's going to be doing is bypassing all the time. And then that's just pumping a whole lot of oil because the high volume pump's bigger than the standard volume pump. It's just pumping a whole lot of oil and wasting a little bit of horsepower. Um, yeah, and I'm saying I read that lower vacuum in the crankcase makes it easier for the oil to fall out of the little clearances. So pressure is slightly lower. Quick Superstock says this was a good read. 
and it was this was an interesting um interesting little dialogue here and um solved the problem so the internet can be helpful sometimes now i gotta turn all this off <laughs>